Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, we're gonna look at a couple of products from the company One Wind. Here we have the 11 foot ultra light single hammock. And here we have the 12 foot large tarp shelter system. Now both of these combining to make an excellent shelter system and sleep system for the outdoor backpacking genre. For me personally, if you've been watching my channel, you realize I am deeply into the outdoor hiking, camping, and backpacking genre. So having good quality, compact, and lightweight equipment is definitely a must. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at One Wind who did provide these for review. I actually reached out to them to ask if they'd be willing to work with me on an upcoming review of some of their products. They pretty much allowed me to pick what I wanted off of their website, and I picked these products specifically to combine as a system. The reason being, I like a nice, lightweight, and compact hammock for general camp use in, and I'm gonna say at this time, the sort of winter bridge season, uh, maybe the late fall, pretty much an opportunity without bugs. So this does not have a bug net, nor would I intend on using this in the dead of summer without an added bug net. But the tarp, this is actually a tarp shelter system. It does have doors. Now, I'm gonna premise this by saying, when I brought this out, into the wilderness for the first time. It was on a backpacking trip where you're gonna see the footage very soon, but I did not have a chance to set this up ahead of time, and I was not able to fully set this up to its exact extent with the doors. So a little bit of a disclaimer there, I did the best that I could with the time I had allotted to setting this up in the environment, but my initial impression, this system is awesome. I do have to say, I like this better than almost all of my other hammocks at this point. It's darn close. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna roll in the footage from my recent backpacking trip and my setup experience, and then we're gonna come back to the studio and give you some of my final thoughts. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. <laughs> So after the hike in, just about four miles, I'd say, right? Right around there, I think. What'd you get? Got 4.17 to here. Not so. bad, yeah. Um, but yeah, we found a nice, nice campsite, man. This is up there. I can tell you already, this is up there. Whew. All right. To get to work, we say. Here I have the one wind hammock, getting ready to set it up here. Now I broke my golden rule, which is never come out here having never set up my shelter. Well, this goes exactly against everything I've talked about. I have not even opened this up yet. And I can't say that, I pulled it out real quick, took a quick look over it just to make sure I knew what was going on and put it right back in here. But I have certainly yet to set this up. So I don't expect to have any problems. Uh, we got a beautiful site here, good day of hiking. So I gotta get my camp set up and, uh, and we'll go through it. But the first thing is you'll see very simple straps and this is the lightweight hammock. So I believe the lightest one in their collection. I wanted this so it would be small and compact, uh, not bulky at all, extremely tight package overall. And I think this is gonna be perfect for out here today. So it's time to get this set up. So my initial impression would have been these are close to like ENO Atlas straps or something like that. And if you just look at the end, you might think that's true. However, you'll notice there are some keepers on here and then this strap has no additional loops. So the entire strap here is flat and that's because of the buckle system on the hammock itself. So very simple pass-through design, but 
different from the other straps, so I'll need to be careful when I grab a set of straps out of my bin in the future. And so you'll see here the reason why it's a pass-through design. This does not leverage clips, but rather this buckle. And so fairly straightforward, this just weaves. I'm actually going to go this way underneath and then back over the top. And you can slide this as far up as you want. And then when you pull, you'll see that cinch is nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. And then from here... Just undoing the little toggle on that cinch, and I can now pull out the opposite end. Perfect, actually. Maybe just uh, a little more on the head end, but yeah, it's gonna be nice. Definitely. And so now you can see these keepers just holding the extra webbing nicely. I've taken the black one, slid it right up against the buckle. That's gonna help that so it can't slide at all. And then the other one here, you'll see just taking up some of the excess, keeping it out of the way. Now, one thing you can do that I found is usually where my tail is hanging down, if it's raining, is where the water wicks down and hits that and then drains down and doesn't actually go into your hammock. So depending on where your tarp is and if your straps are getting wet, you could theoretically kind of adjust this a little bit and help take care of some of your water problem. So I kind of like that. It's... um. You know, probably not intended for that, but a little tip and trick. And then here, very simple, a ridge line you can see going across the top. Now, these are hit or miss for me. Sometimes it gets in the way of your head. The nice thing about this one is it is adjustable. So looking here, you'll see it's like a whoopee sling design, and you can tension this up however you want. And that's going to do a couple things. It's going to help with the overall lay of the hammock, but it's also going to give you that ridge line across the top with a nice little pouch here. So you can put a flashlight, headlamp, power bank maybe. Too much heavier than that and it will become a little bit weighted down, but definitely nice to have that. And now for the One Wind tarp. I'm already kind of impressed at this. I got the ridge line strung out on this last night before we came. And what I like is, it's actually a double-sided stuff sack, which is pretty cool. And you can see, I already have my ridge line the little tag lines just sticking out the end ready to go. So this is gonna make it very easy for me to undo one side, simply pull out my ridge line. If I'm careful, I'll be able to do this without making a mess. Get it set up on the tree. With this completely inside the stuff sack, grab this tag line and just start to pull it out. And I can get this whole thing set up without it dragging on the ground at all. That to me is clever design, very smart. Now with the ridge line in place, I just have these prussics tied to the corners, so the ends, I should say, of the tarp. So I believe this is um, sort of a catenary design, so it's sort of like a central point, but we'll pull that, start to get tension. There we go. Easily strung out here. Just make a little sense of this. But yeah, there you have it. 
It's a little pouch with all the accessories. So here you'll see I have the tie outs. Now I brought a couple extra just to be safe. And then the stakes, which this comes with four of these red aluminum stakes. Uh, not bad. I also brought a couple extra in case I need them. And these little quick line tensioners, which I'm not sure if I plan on using these. Um, I'm going to be a little bit busy trying to get my tarp uh, staked down in the snow. And I don't think these are going to do exactly what I need. So I'm going to slide some of this stuff aside and see if I can get this stretched out. So now the tarp nicely laid out. And I know I didn't set this up the way that one wind actually intends. There are a number of different ways you can go about this, but for today, I really didn't have the time as I was getting ready for this trip to learn those quick connects. And I could see, you know, those quick toggles being really nice. And especially if this was set up the exact way it was intended. But for me, I just went simple, sort of like A-frame design here. Get me out of the wind, decent headroom, nice space here, as you can see, for that ridge line on the inside, working perfectly. So looking through here, everything taped. So that's nice. And you can see reinforced on the side tie outs on the top, everything taped. Looks to be pretty well done overall. That's at least a good sign there. And just some minor observations here, but very well done. If you look at the stitching, just absolutely perfectly done. I like the way they did that nice and reinforced all the way down. I mean, that's not going to pull out ever for any reason. Nice and reinforced on the bottom. And then ultimately with that trim. So the trim also very well done. So far, I am quite impressed at this setup. And you'll see there are, as I mentioned, quick toggles all over this. So if I was to set this up the right way, I'd be leveraging all of the hardware that you can see is mounted onto this. But for me today, I just, I got hiking to do and uh, hopefully a peak up there. We're gonna try to hit if we have time. So unfortunately I don't have time to go through all of this, but it is gonna keep me safe tonight and it looks to be about perfect. And so now with the underquilt, this is complete and the underquilt going on very easy. One thing that was very lucky, my underquilt requires some sort of a loop or buckle to clip onto, and that works out extremely well, where I could just pass through on that little D-ring there, and that works out very well. And this is perfectly positioned, nice and centered, looking about right. So at this point, I am in very good shape. So there you have it, a look at the one wind lightweight hammock and shelter system. This tarp is awesome. I greatly enjoyed it and I was definitely comfortable in the hammock coming together to make a great shelter and sleep system. So again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at One Wind. I am very impressed at these products. Easy to set up, great quality, the manufacturing definitely there. And I do need to spend a little more time and admittedly setting this up the proper way with the doors. Now, there's plenty of hardware here to do that. The straps were awesome. If there's one thing I can say, I just want a little sack to store the straps when you're not using them. I've added my own at this point. This is now going to be part of this kit. That's really the only thing that 
if I had any gripe at all, it just didn't come with a storage sack for the straps. But other than that, this is an awesome, awesome setup. Super easy, infinite adjustability, nice long straps. You can definitely set this up in a number of different ways with ease, large spread between trees, a little bit tighter, no problem at all. That nice ridge line, there is a lot going for this. So with that said, I am quite impressed. Now, let's take a quick look at the weight. I did want to measure this. There are reported weights and then measured weights, keeping in mind the fact that I do still have the ridge line now attached to this. So this is going to be a little bit heavier with that Dyneema cord ridge line, but not by much. And so now weighing up real quick, here is the tarp and getting it on the scale, ringing in at 27.9 ounces, just shy of 28 ounces. So in other words, that's one pound, 11.9 ounces. And here with the hammock, well, here you have 10.2 ounces, very light and extremely compact. Adding in your stakes and your tie outs, that there, 5.7 ounces, and the straps weighing in at 8.2 ounces. So, all right, guys, there you have it the One Wind hammock and tarp setup. Again, thank you very much to the people at One Wind. I look forward to seeing more of your products. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.